Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at some new miniatures from Flags of War. They're for their 28mm War of Austrian Succession. I have a couple of packs to preview here. Uh, first off is the British. So Flags of War have been doing um, sort of Jacobite Rebellion for a while now. So they have a lot of com contemporaneous figures in this neck of the woods. As you can see here, we have an officer, a drummer, and then some marching riflemen, or not riflemen, musket, musketmen. Two with tricorn and two with mitre hats. All one piece miniatures. I'm pretty sure that the whole range is one piece um, as far as the infantry go. There's not a, a huge amount of building required so you can get your stuff on the table in short order. Which means, while you would think the sculpts would be limited in pose, um, they're not actually. Obviously, they are going to be in very specific defined poses, so marching, standing, firing. Um, but they're not reduced in quality because of that. Here we have an officer with uh, sword at the ready. The way he's holding his hand leads me to believe like he's could be looking at a pocket watch, although mid 17th century, unlikely to have a pocket watch. You never know. Lovely detail on his face and obviously on the full uniform, including those. Um, buttoned putties all the way down. Casting quality on all of the Flags War stuff is superb. You can see obviously there's a large sprue gate there to help with the casting that will need to be removed. But otherwise flashing is minimal and um, seam lines are also negligible. Sticking with our tricorns, we have two more men advancing. Again, lovely quality in the sculpts, especially in the faces. All at marching order. Again, sprue gates running between the um, swords and either the back of this fellow's leg or this one's base, just for the casting. They'll need to be removed. But detail there is exquisite even down to the turn backs for the more extravagant we have our drummer i used to hate painting these there's so many so many stripes and colors on their facings especially on their um sleeves with all the chevrons which were generally red and white with the face and colour. Again, sprue gate running from drumstick to drum and from scabbard to floor. But it means this marching drumming fellow is a one piece cast, which is just mind boggling. Very, very crisp detail. Even down to the goat on the mitre. And then we have two more mitred British. And they have the, um, they even got the crown and the GR for presumably George Rex. So could be Grenadiers. If you scrape that off and put a harp on it, you can do um, the Irish. Beautiful, beautiful miniatures. So that is the British. And then we have some Dutch. So the beginning of a Dutch color party. Two advancing, another drummer, and what looks like an ensign, although you have to supply your own flag 
um, I think you can get finials and flag tops from Flags of War actually. So just a, a steel rod and away you go. And again, beautifully realized sculpts, small amount of flashing here and there. Got the um, gorgets on. Terrific, terrific detail. Literally blown away by what Flags of War have managed to do with One Piece sculpts. Um, it's all too easy to think of One Piece being a step down in quality because you are limited in certain respects as to what you can do and how you can do it. But, I mean, that musket carried right up there, shouldered, but without taking out half his face. So the caster has managed to get in there and, and pull that beautiful quality. Absolutely beautiful. So if you fancy doing some mid 18th century Austrian succession, fighting over the Netherlands, And this is definitely a way to go. So this is a relatively new range for Flags of War. Um, they had a Kickstarter at the start of the year for the Austrian stuff. But it means they're only going to be expanding it from here, really. They've already got plenty of 18th century uh, for their Jacobite rebellion. So why not spread into the rest of Europe? So there we have it. Um, two packs, more already out and more on the way as well. If you're into the uh, mid 1700s, there's a lot of warfare went on around Europe and indeed its colonies. These will fit in for those as well as obviously the War of Austrian Succession itself, um, which was sort of the end of several other ongoing feuds throughout Europe. Uh, beautiful miniatures, once again, from Flags of War. Ian's got a, a superb range there. And I'm very happy that they're all one piece metals as well, because I love my metals and I don't particularly like having to assemble things. So a quick clean up and away you go. But let me know what you think below. And if you've ever had to paint piping on a color party, I share your pain. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.